Hi guys, Jordan with Motion Array, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to install macros in DaVinci Resolve. As of version 16.2, DaVinci Resolve has a new way to install macros so that you can use things like effects, transitions, and titles inside of your video projects. So we're going to walk you through the process to figure out exactly where and how to install these so that they work flawless inside of DaVinci Resolve. Let's pretend like we've just downloaded this macro here, and we want to install it into Resolve. Once you've found and unzipped it, you should see that it contains a variety of files and folders. The actual macros you'll want to move to the new location should be found in a clearly labeled folder, and you can verify these are macros by looking for the end file extension dot setting. So now that you have your macros, where do you actually install them to? That actually depends on whether you have resolved version 16.1 or earlier, or version 16.2 or later. To figure out which version you're on, simply have Resolve open and go up to DaVinci Resolve, About DaVinci Resolve. Here you'll see a clear display of which version you're currently on. So you can see here that I'm on version 16.2. Now if you find that you're on version 16.1 or earlier, we'd advise that you go to the Help folder within your downloaded template and watch the personalized tutorial for your template. But if you're on version 16.2 or later like me, then you're going to want to go down this file path. Start by going to your library folder, and the easiest way to do that is go up to Go, and then hold Option to enable the library section here. Click on Library, then go to Application Support. Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, Templates, Edit. And if you're on a PC, you're going to want to go to the following. Program Files, Blackmagic Design, DaVinci Resolve, Fusion, Templates, Edit. Now, from this point, you should have an option for four different folders. Effects, Generators, Titles, and Transitions. Additionally, some macros go into the Fusion folder here, but we'll get to that in just a second. You're simply going to need to take your macros and put them into the folder type that they line up with. If you don't have this clearly labeled for you in your download, here's a quick summary of what each category represents. Effects are basically alterations which impact the way media or a particular clip appears. This is typically visually. So in this example you can see that this would be considered an effect because it's changing or altering the overall look and feel of the media. Generators are typically macros which have elements that are being propagated from within Fusion itself. A great example of this is a background, with shapes and particles that can have amazing amounts of fine tuning and adjustments. Titles are pretty self-explanatory, basically any text-based template. Examples like lower thirds would fit perfectly into this category. And finally, transitions. These are just basically the process of instructions telling two pieces of media how to move from one to the other. Additionally, there's also fusion macros, which are basically any one of these categories, but with such a high reliance on fusion that it's actually more accurately organized as a fusion macro as opposed to any of these other four categories. Keep in mind that as of recording this video, these are in general less common and also less common on our marketplace. So once you know the appropriate category that your macros fall into, just drag and drop the macros with the ending dot setting into that folder. Nice. And if your macro uses a particular font, there should be a folder just for that so you can click on the link and download it for yourself. This is really important because DaVinci Resolve macros don't have a default font set. Which means that if the font that the macro is using isn't able to be found, the text just won't show up at all. And from there, you should see that these macros are now available to use inside DaVinci Resolve. Just go to Effects Library, and under Toolbox, you'll find it in the corresponding category that you placed the macros into. But if yours aren't showing up right away, we'd suggest quickly to shut down Resolve and open it back up again. These should be incredibly simple to use, just drag and drop. And then if you need to adjust any parameters, you can highlight the clip or transition in question and go up to your inspector. And finally, if you're working with a Fusion macro, just add a Fusion Composition from underneath Toolbox, Effects, Fusion Composition. Drop it onto your timeline, and then with it highlighted, click on the Fusion tab here. Then underneath your Effects library, your Fusion macro will be available underneath the Templates folder. And when you download these Fusion macros from our marketplace, they'll each come with a personalized video tutorial so that you can effectively use it and customize it to your liking. We have tons of DaVinci Resolve macros for you to be able to use right here at motionarray.com. 
We hope that you now understand where and how to install DaVinci Resolve macros, and we can't wait to see all the amazing things that you'll use them to create. Thank you.